Mm. Mm. What's up, good people? Mark Holtz here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you guys have had a great Taco Tuesday, and um, it's been a busy, 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 busy one for me. I'm going to be leaving early in the morning to go down to the Red Brick House for a couple of days. Um, we got the occupancy and stuff, but we still have some more work that needs to be done on the house. Um, we are, you know, still I need to sand the floors. I've got some doors I need to put up and cabinet doors and things and still some more plastering. But as far as all of the utilities, the mechanical, the electrical, um, the plumbing, the framing, insulation, all those things are good to go. Safety issues, the deck, and I feel good about that. But i tell you what's crazy is, yesterday I had the fire going, and I was burning up. I was sweating like a pig. It was hot out here. Tonight, it feels like fall. It is actually, it feels like football weather. If this was like a football Sunday night, you know, game, this would be great. I would probably be sitting over there with a Cowboys blanket on me because I'm old or at least long pants on because it really, it's, it's got to be in the 50s, which is crazy because it had been hot as could be. Things change so quickly. So... You know, I do YouTube, and doing YouTube is still crazy to me. If somebody had said 10 or 15 years ago, you were going to do videos and people would watch it, I would have said you're on crack, because there would have been no way in the world that I would have had the confidence enough to actually get in front of a camera and talk. I would have stuttered. I would have been, no, I've been so scared it would be crazy. But here I am. I do this. And because you do this, you get into the spotlight and it opens doors up for a lot of criticism. And I will say to anybody who is thinking about getting into YouTube or social media and stuff, be prepared. Because some people are going to love you. Some people are going to hate you. Some people are going to go after you. It, it's just the nature of the beast. There's a lot of incredible, great things about social media and the reach that you can have. I can look at so many people that are close to me that I would not have met had it not been for YouTube and social media. It's, it's incredible. I think about how social media saved the Red Brick House because... By hack, happenstance, I met a person who said, you're the person we've been looking for and showed me the house just before it was about to be demolished, where I put a post on Facebook about saving the house and that caught fire and started a petition that halted long enough for us to come up with a plan to save the place. The power of social media. The power is also there that will destroy you and make you do things to try and stay in the spotlight. That's the bad side of it. It gets to be addictive. So I had people who will come at me because I believe in Dak Prescott. I keep hearing that Mike McCarthy is on the hot seat, that this is a proven year for Dak Prescott, that the Cowboys, they got to win or else. But correct me if I'm wrong. I had a person who literally said that the Cowboys are that franchise, that excellence is the only thing that's acceptable. Well, I hate to say it, but excellence hasn't happened for almost 30 years. That's the way it used to be. But as I'm looking, and maybe I'm wrong, I sit here and I say, through the course of the last three years, where 2020 was abysmal, Dak Prescott breaks his foot. We had heard that Andy Dalton was no drop-off, and we found out that wasn't true. 
we found out that without Dak Prescott, it didn't matter. We didn't have a team. We had historically one of the worst defenses that we've ever had. And then we get Dan Quinn and Micah Parsons. And all of a sudden, I look and I see, even though we did not win the Super Bowl, we had 12-5 and back-to-back. And I'm sitting here looking and thinking, in the time since we were great, since the time of Aikman and crew were gone, we ain't done that. We ain't done that. And for an organization that's had four playoff wins in that 29 years, two of those have been within the last seven. Us with the potential of having top three defense at least, that's young and hungry. The only team that I can look at since Troy and crew is maybe the 2007 season that we walked into a Giants buzzsaw and lost. People will say, well, Dax had talent around him. Yeah, he's had talent. He had a great offensive line his rookie year. Zeke Elliott, who was performing great. But he didn't have a defense. And make no mistake about it, Tom Brady's the GOAT. But Tom Brady's never had worse than the eighth best defense in the league. When he went to Tampa Bay, they were an 8-8 eight eight team with Jameis Winston throwing 30 interceptions. 30 interceptions. And he- Sorry, battery on my microphone died, so it cuts off once the battery dies. But check me, you know, let me, let me say that Tom Brady and crew had help. They had help. And I sit here and I look at what the Rams did. People will say, of course, oh, man, Jared, I mean, Jared, no. Matt Stafford, he's great. Matt Stafford had six pick sixes and 17 interceptions that Super Bowl year. He had one hellacious team and the best defensive player in football in Aaron Donald. They had incredible wide receivers and an incredible coach. But here's my thing. I'm sitting here, and correct me if I'm wrong, with Jason Garrett, we never had back-to-back winning seasons. Now, you can say we had back-to-back-to-back 500 seasons. But we never had great seasons in a row with Jason Garrett. Wayne Phillips, I think we had two good years right there. Bill Parcells, I think we had one playoff year. He stocked the cabinet. But as I look at it, right now, with Mike McCarthy, this is the best coach team that we've had since Jimmy Johnson. Make no mistake about it. Back to back 12 and 5 seasons, looking at a roster that has been built from the draft, from free agency, from undrafted rookie free agents, where we've got young talent across the board. But all I keep hearing is break it up, fire Mike McCarthy, get rid of Dak. I don't understand it, guys. Things are finally getting good. Things are finally getting consistent. And now everybody wants to blow it all up? I don't know what's wrong with y'all. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. But what do I know? Because, of course, every quarterback out there is better than Dak Prescott. And we can just grab one just like that and be in great shape. Anyway. I'm done with that. I am going to carry my behind to bed, get me a good night's rest, and head on down the road to bar. <sighs> we may have something special that's going to happen in the next couple of days, but I'll let you know if it works out.
It'll be really, really cool. It really will. But as always, remember, remember, tell the people you love, you love them. Because thoughts and prayers out to Clive Barbley. I guarantee you, the last thing he thought was he was going to lose his father to their house exploding. Shit is crazy, people. We've had so much tragedy that has happened. Maui. Hurricanes. You've got to tell the people you love. You love them. And you got to live life right, right. Because you never know. You might be meeting your maker tomorrow. I love you guys. And I appreciate y'all. Each and every day. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.